Scott Cole, Nick Mazesco back with you again. We had a slow sports week last week, Nick. Not the case so far. Uh, and the crazy thing about this, Nick, is the Super Bowl was like a month ago, and it's still topping the headlines. We had Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Ridley doing crazy stuff. Uh, I think we could cover it all. Hopefully we can. Where do you want to start, Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, let's start Aaron Rodgers. Scott, I, I, I think it's you, you hit the nail on the head. It's March. We're supposed to be done talking about football. The NFL draft is coming up, and all these news stories come out. It felt like one domino fell, and then all these news stories came out. And I'm kind of scared as to what's coming the rest of the week because I feel like there's yeah, the even more of these to come. The interesting thing is I think because of the franchise tag for Devontae Adams – that's why you had Aaron Rodgers really being forced to finally make a decision. And you're wondering if it would ever come. I think he made the right decision because uh, when you think of that NFC North, that is the clearest, easiest path to the Super Bowl, one would think, at least to the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, again, what, four years, $200 million, 153 guaranteed. He record-breaking contract. That's a great start. Uh, I know I know somebody who is sad. Uh, you got to think the Las Vegas Raiders. Once the, Devontae Adams hit that franchise tag, I know Raiders fans were hoping a reuniting of Devontae Adams and Derek Carr. That's not happening. This puts Derek Carr's future a little bit up in the air because if they're not going to bring in somebody else to help him out, does he look to get out of there? But, yeah, I mean, you got the Lions in a major rebuild. You got the Bears still rebuilding with a new head coach. You got the Vikings in all sorts of flux with Kirk Cousins. <laughs> yeah, you got your number one weapon back. You got to think Green Bay, I mean, they have to bring in a wide receiver in the draft, right? Like, well, they can't do another Jordan Love. You know, that's a hey, bringing up Jordan Love. That's a great point, because when you think about him, he's been holding the clipboard for three years. Aaron Rodgers did hold the clipboard for Brett Favre. But if they truly believe Jordan Love is sort of like this top 32 quarterback in the league, it seems like, you know, you have so many holes that you need to fill. I mean, the Packers are a great team. Don't get me wrong, but they did not look good in the playoffs last year when it counted. They need a couple more playmakers. I think that's what you're trying to say. Could they, you know, could Washington or a couple of other these teams that desperately need a quarterback, Pittsburgh, be a place that Jordan Love could go uh, in a trade? Yeah, I mean, and you've got two very interesting questions here because we only have seen a little bit of Jordan Love when he filled in for Aaron Rodgers with COVID, and he didn't look great. I mean, he did not look very good. Nobody <laughs> was sitting there going, this is the future. And obviously, he's not going to sit for four more years if he's looking to start. The other interesting thing, so I think there's two questions here. Number one, what do the Packers do about their defense? Because there's been a lot of rumors about getting rid of Preston Smith, getting getting rid of a bunch of defensive pieces with these big overinflated contracts. Are they going to have a defense that can carry an offense with Aaron Rodgers that has been sort of three-pronged? Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones. And the second question is, Scott, do you think Jordan Love, it, would he be better than any of the quarterbacks that are coming up in this NFL draft? Would you take Jordan I Love over Kenny Pickett? I think the yes. I mean, we documented how weak we think this quarterback draft coming up. Not saying that one of them couldn't pop off, right? Or or have a little flash in the pan early on right. with that some athleticism. But you got to think he's at least learned something, right? Being with LaFour and being with Aaron Rodgers these last three years has to be a master class on playing quarterback on the field, not off the field. <laughs> I think it's been a terrible uh, representation of what you should do. Um, but, you know, yeah. it's it's interesting with some picks. I know Washington was desperately trying to uh, work something to try to get Russell Wilson, maybe Aaron Rodgers. I don't think they were ever really in the Aaron Rodgers sweepstakes, but I know they're desperately in need of a quarterback. And, and I mean, again, you're looking at a price tag on Jordan Love mid-round pick i mean you're probably looking third fourth round is what what we're hearing is sort of the compensation for a, a player as you know slightly older than the draft class is very unproven um you know i think it'd be worth a flyer especially in some of those places does a team like indianapolis mm. wanting to move on from carson wentz go to a good coach with frank reich who's had success with quarterbacks does maybe indianapolis call about jordan love you got to think if, if the, you're the packers you're probably not trading him especially in the division, but well, you'd like to behind, train outside of the NFC. Uh, Carson Wentz, you're going to play. <laughs> that's, that's the one thing I can tell you. And if you're the Packers, you're right, get if the you time. can't deal them, if you can't <laughs> get it back what you need on Jordan Love, then it's a nice insurance policy that you still, you know he knows the offense. Can he come in and hand the ball off, throw some screens, you know, sort of be that game manager that they need in case something happens to Aaron Rodgers.